Business Marketing 494 helps students understand the complexity of moving and managing goods. Professor Simona Stan has a PhD in marketing and is working with Wilson Logistics to let her students work with real data. Her class is aimed at all students, not just business majors. Even students who come maybe from uh, performing arts or from uh, social sciences, they would find probably something interesting to learn about um, uh, the concepts of logistics, mainly because everybody needs to organize a party, right? You know, and uh, think about how much logistics goes around uh, organizing a wedding or a major international trip. A student of Stan's says the class has stretched his knowledge of logistics. In this class we're talking about you know, all of the things that happen in between the supply and the, the demand point. Um, so it's just deepened my understanding of the complexities that's, that are really built into that idea of supply and demand. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, students learning to become logisticians are entering a career path with a projected 30% growth from 2020 to 2030. This is more than the projected 8% growth in all other occupations. The Bureau says logisticians are also earning a median salary wage of more than $70,000 as compared to the annual median wage of about $40,000 found in all other occupations. Stan says that around 10,000 new logistics jobs are created annually. For UM News, I'm Christopher Kunda.